All right. See some character selections here. See what's going on. I see P2 resting over a coin, sliding over. Fox. Okay, we like some Fox. Fox Zero offering some commentary. Is Fox honest? Well, all the characters are honest. You just have to get good. We got Ike coming out as well. Very excited for this matchup here. Really want to see, um, you know, the Ike coming off the stage to challenge Fox's recovery with those big hit boxes. You know, see him popping up the Firefox. So we start off here, H for Sampatron. Is this a button check? No, it's not. Ooh, a little dash tech coming out from Fox into the down throw. You know, a lot of shielding. Uh, nice side beat, neutral, you know, throwing out those mix ups. A little down throw. The dash tag missing. Okay. Ooh, throwing out that up beat on the stage, getting punished for it with some jabs. Ooh, coming back on, grabbing the ledge. Fox got some lasers. Ooh. Down B, getting that counter. Ooh, ooh, nice, nice little rollback there to avoid the forward smash. Ooh, up throw. Side B coming from the Fox, a little bit of jab action. Both characters are in very close percents. However, I would say that uh, I can definitely kill a little earlier than Fox. Ooh, and with the counter on the Forest Smash, we'll take the first stock. First one goes to Amphitron. Ooh, no up throw. You no, know, I definitely have these um, broken frames and percentages figured out because he does land and now he has taken that stock. So Amphitron looking good, does have quite a bit of extra credit on H's Fox here. But the up smash will bring it back down to the level. Fox 52% damage. I get zero. Let's go. Dash attack. I haven't seen very much uh, up tilt usage. From... Ooh, nice little way to connect the string with it. Um, ooh, forward air missing, neutral air. You know, H definitely turning up right now. You know, who wants it more? A little up tilt, knock him up, misses the forward air. Throwing that up B, coming back up. It doesn't quite hit. Ooh. Ooh, he definitely could have challenged that if he had reacted a little quicker. Ooh, so H will take that. It's 1-0 for him in the set right now. Moving on to the next one. So um, what kind of stages are we looking at for these guys? You know, uh, Town and City would be a good one for our boy Fox here, H. Uh, is this back to the Smashville? Three, two, one, go. All right, so back on Smashville. H is 1-0 in the set. Starting it off with a down throw. A little back air there from the Ike. Okay, some jabs. You know, he really wants to get him in one of those up tilt strings, but he is bouncing him around right now. Got that string going. Some jabs to reset the neutral. Ooh, up throw. See, even when ike and fox are at equal percents you know i still consider ike to be a little bit ahead given what he has to do to kill um and how much earlier he can do it uh, but fox again you know is one up air away from victory at all times right get him in the air oh nice weight on the air dodge there Oof. okay hashtag knocking him up Ooh, interesting. Got carried the whole way by the up B. And with the dash attack, get out of here. Home run. Start off with the footstool. Come back. You know, let's see what this fox can do. I believe in him. Ooh, well, he's still in the air. Getting the up smash. Beautiful. So we've got H here. Can he take this back? He's down 60%. Is there more? Ooh, 68%, 82%. Ooh, nice read on the side B there. He knew it was coming, so he backed up to handle it. I like that. Missing the two frame there. Ooh, throwing the up B. Maybe he was going for the platform, possibly. Could have been a good option. Either way, it was missed. With a counter killing. So, the set is tied, 1-1, Amphitron and H. Very excited to see what happens to conclude this set. Button check? All right, a button check. They didn't do it at the beginning of the match, so if there was some issues in the beginning, we'll have to live with them as these games are recorded now. 
hope H doesn't pull up to the screen here and realize his shield's been on the button, the wrong one the whole time. You know, I've heard a lot of philosophies on different control schemes, you know, moving your jump. I, I think at the end of the day, it comes down to whatever you're most comfortable with. And uh, Smash is really a game you can play whatever way you want. So whatever control setup, you know, if you're nunchucking, as long as you're not going to, like, Genesis or something where they're going to ban you, you'd be good to go. And I think there even are ways around that in terms of wired, wired setups and whatnot. So uh, practicing some up tilts here. Button checking in the middle of the set. Just to be sure going into this last game that he's fully set up to take it. I'm blind, so playing on these Wii pads. Just so you know, SFU Smashers, if you're ever coming through, do your best to bring up a monitor, a setup. Please, do God, helps. bring a monitor. Yeah, because playing on the Wii U pads is no fun. So, uh, to conclude the set, H versus Ampatron, looking very even so far. Um, I feel like Ike's going to be able to wall Fox out really easily using this sword, but at the same time, uh, Fox's specialty is getting in, right? Mm, definitely getting in on those, that neutral and starting off those punishes. Oh, that was a great uh, neutral air into the uh, forward tilt. Just conversions. That's exactly what you need to see with Ike. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I can definitely uh, challenge Fox's recovery if he gets wind of what he's doing ahead of time. He can set him up to make a big punish, given that Fox's recovery makes him stall before he goes anywhere. Yeah, and, and uh, just throwing the sword in the way is just going to be enough to be able to finish that, absolutely. Uh, but great up tilt and up air conversion. Even though the percentages seem a little bit off, uh, Ike is definitely still winning. Yeah, definitely still in kill percentages for Ike. Most of the time in kill percentages for Ike. Ooh, good DI by Ampatron. Ooh. The counters have been working out for Ampatron, but he's got to watch throwing now. He's gotten a couple kills in the set with the counter. Ooh, nice job with that bear, killing at 100. And Fox just a light little, a light little furry. <laughs> he goes flying. Just playing out neutral. Both, uh, both people not really wanting to commit too much, but yeah. uh, Ampatron getting that grab. H definitely on his last stock situation here. He's got to make it happen, come back, get a stock, then get another one. Yeah, it, but uh, Fox is definitely one of those characters that can bring it back quickly as long as, as, long as you start reading your, your opponent, right? Absolutely. It just takes you know, a couple strengths from Fox and everything's even right back up. H has been getting kills with the up smash for the set. It seems like his go-to. Um, possibly, ooh, back end. Ampatron is doing a really good job of looking for those uh, those raw up smashes. Two stock to end the set. Ampatron takes it 2-1 over H. H not happy about that one. Ampatron just too happy about that one. Yeah, it's you know, a good time. That's, that's just how it goes. You win some, you lose some. Absolutely. And uh, you just have to make sure you learn from it and come back tomorrow. It's all a learning experience, really. Or come back and then losers. I don't know if that was probably winners. So. Make that mango run, you know? Yeah, yeah, all the way from losers. There's a 